Welcome to the Naples Money Managers news that you can use. It is June 7th. I'm John Kincaid here with Dennis Nelson. We wanted to give you a little rundown on some of our feelings regarding the economics of what's going on in this market currently. A couple of things that I've noticed before Dennis kind of gives us some uh, insight into inflation because that is the big news. That is the biggest news. The biggest news is inflation for retail investors is this seems to be a little bit more complex than meets the eye. And the challenge is that we're not coming out of a typical economic recession. We're coming out of what maybe we haven't experienced before, this mini boom or reaction to an event. Uh, that's one thing that I've kind of noticed. The Fed is heavily involved. So that's another piece of, of the overall picture that the retail investor needs to consider. Yeah, absolutely. It may be what most people are really watching. Right. So being being so atypical, this mini boom, and talking to retail investors that want to position money into the market currently, uh, how big is this inflation piece? Is it a big piece or is it really nothing to worry about? Well, I think, I, I think there are some parts of it that are here to stay. Right. I think the labor thing that we talked about last week uh, is is here to stay. You, you, the McDonald's worker is now up to fifteen bucks an hour. You can't take that back. So that's that's going to stay. And not only can I can you not take that back, but any future employees, you've got to give that that raise to them. So that that part of the inflation is probably uh, uh, in the costs or going to be in the costs uh, real quick. Um, but is that going to go up fast? Uh, prob probably not. It's going to be a one-time thing. Uh, how about if you take, you take this revving of the market's engine because we're returning to some type of normalcy, and then we know that that rev, that 6% GDP that they've talked about for a little while, will have to slow and get, become normal again. What does that piece do to the inflation or to the to the economics of the market? Well, I think it'll be uh, evening out. Uh, the, the chief of the Fed has already said he thinks this is a temporary right. uh, uh, event. I, I think there's some things in there that maybe make it less temporary than you might uh, think at first blush. Mm -hmm. uh, for instance, uh, we're looking at um, uh, uh, basic material costs. Uh, that's a different segment than looking at manufactured goods price. And, mo and most of the conversation has been around manufactured goods. Right. Uh, the inability of the retailer to get it. Uh, but but um, um, basic, basic raw material, um, you immediately think of China's impact on the basic materials. Copper, iron ore have all gone up to record highs um, in addition to some of the lesser metals. How do you, how, how does China going to deal with that? And they've already started to make some talk that, okay, they're done buying, uh, which, which I doubt. But at the same time, uh, that's affected the price right. uh, and, and therefore uh, affected the, uh, the, the price of the stocks. Uh, and I noticed Freeport McMoran, a copper, probably the copper producer, um, it has been down a couple bucks over the last few days. And I think that's a reaction uh, to, to China. The, the, the other story, though, is manufactured goods. And I think that there's, there's some things going on there that, that look temporary to me. Uh, uh, for instance, over the last uh, decade or probably more, there's been a lot of talk about just-in-time inventory right. control. Well, they screwed up. Uh, <laughs> In that's short, longer, in, right. in short, that's 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 right. They should have been keeping some inventory on hand. I suspect there's some uh, corporate buyers right now who are a little bit nervous about their job. Um, but uh, the fact of the matter is, uh, goods are piling up on the West Coast, and they just can't get it here. Uh, transportation costs, uh, you go back to the labor thing, truck drivers maybe aren't coming back to work as quickly as, uh, as everybody thought they might. Um, so so that, that's a factor. Uh, um, uh, the cost of, 
of, of, of that uh, um, just-in-time Im inventory uh, management um, is becoming apparent, and yet margins on what is what is in the showroom are staying are staying healthy. So the, the companies are making money, uh, even with uh, uh, lower uh, uh, lower sales, lower revenue, right. and. Uh, and, and the profits are going to be there, and I suspect we're going to see a pretty good second quarter. Um, and if that's the case, we're probably pushing out a, a negative reaction to all this, I think, to the end of the year. And, and, and maybe further, depending right. on how the, uh, the Fed approaches all so this. So if we see this uh, expected inflation with everything going on, this near-term inflation, uh, we get through some good quarters in 2021, and then it begins to slow possibly, and then the question becomes, what do you do? Well, then we're going to be looking at negative year-to-year -year, right. uh, uh, type, uh, type of earnings, and uh, you know, the positive thing about it is we may be looking at lower inflation out there to offset it. Um, you know, historically, almost every recession has been basically started by the Fed by raising interest rates, except for the one in 2000, which of course was the COVID recession, uh, and which is now showing up as the shortest recession ever. Um, so so the, the, uh, what, what I look for when I'm looking at inflation is what are permanent factors right. being fed into the market that are, that are going to be that are going to stay there and are going to increase. You go back to the '70s, it was oil, right. and uh, uh, we didn't have any any ability to control the price of oil, and um, and uh, uh, the Arabs did, and uh, the price of oil kept kept going up, and that's permanent and. And has stayed permanent since then. Yeah. Well, it's obvious that we're in a different market uh, because of this event last year. I mean, we, we are definitely in something that uh, that's not normal for us, and I think the investor is challenged by this, and that's that's the real reason why our strategy, this all weather approach. Regardless of what comes, works exceptionally well. That makes it work. That's right. right. Yes. Well, it's nice uh, having you today. Uh, just want to say uh, you always matter to us, or something like that. Don's not here, so you'll get here in a couple of weeks. <laughs> anyway, have a great day.